not sitting here hoping uh, that someone has a bad accident, but ultimately that's what's gonna save my life is, is someone younger or, or at least my age or younger. And, and that's not a good thought. I, I don't want that, I don't wish that. Fighting to live another day. Legendary Kansas Jayhawk Scott Pollard is in an ICU in Nashville. He has a genetic heart condition that now requires a new one. KSN's Derek Lytle spoke with him about a battle he says is bigger than anything he faced on the basketball court. Julia Scott Pollard told me his biggest fear is that he will die on the transplant list without getting to see his kids grow up. This is the nightmare, nightmare he lived when his dad died from the same condition, never making it off that list. This, this is real. This is as real as it gets. In 2021, after a flu shot, Pollard had a virus which activated a genetic heart condition. He now needs a new heart to live. When you're waiting for a kidney transplant, it can be life-threatening for you, but you know that you're not expecting someone to, to expire uh, in order to get a gift. Pollard is on a transplant list in Indiana, Chicago, and Nashville, where he is currently in the ICU. The heart transplant surgical director, Ashish Shah, at the hospital where Pollard is at, says they do 140 heart transplants a year, and still, many never get off the list. Several realities. One is that they die waiting. The other is that they can um, develop enough complications prior to transplant or difficulties that they're not a candidate anymore. Priorities range from a status level of one down to seven. Prioritize them now based on how much risk they have of dying on the transplant list waiting where priority one is the highest priority, and that's someone who is typically in the hospital on a temporary heart pump to keep them alive. Pollard is now a status two and will not leave the hospital without a new heart. He is also 6'11". His size means a new heart needs to be big. At this point, because of all the procedures I've had, I've had three ablations. Uh, I've had uh, been on all the drugs that they have. They're, they don't, they've given me drugs they don't give to other people. Uh, they've given me drugs they don't use anymore. They've tried everything um, and it's not working. Pollard wants his story to bring attention to the need. This is not about me. This is about spreading the, the awareness of, of getting registered to donate your organs because you can be a lot of hero, a lot of people's hero uh, when, you, when you don't need them anymore. Dr. Shaw says the easiest way to increase available organs is to increase the amount of registered donors. He says it's also important to have a conversation with your family as doctors need permission in those crucial hours when someone may be a candidate for organ donation. Here for you, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3.